Globe nomination meant Jude wasn't angry for long, but Sadie's rare party trip would still be ruined. I didn't mind Tom being a fucking midget. It was the fucking Scientology that really got on my tits. Do you know what those c**ts actually believe? No, Nicole, what's... what's that? Oh, it's all about spacemen. Mm. Anyway, never mind that. Fancy a gobble? Oh, you too. Congratulations, Nicole. Your performance in the hours was great. Cheers, Cobber. What are you doing? I told you to wait at the table. Jude, what's wrong? Catch you later, Judy. I can see you've got a bit of a domestic brewing. So, Jude, are we going back to the hotel? You're going back to the hotel. I'm going to Nicole's party. Can't I come too? No, not just like that. Look at your clothes. Jude, I'm just a normal mama. I gave up my acting career for you, and designers don't give nice clothes to people like me. Look, you'll just embarrass me and embarrass yourself. But, Jude, I think... You're repulsive! <laughs> Sadie put a brave face on her public humiliation. But things went from bad to worse when she accidentally topped herself by accident. But thankfully, the accident was unsuccessful. She returned to London to recuperate. What's this? Nothing. Give it off back. But I don't understand. You're not going solo, are you, Jerry? Thing is, Vic, I've got to think about myself. I mean, what's going to happen to me if the Spice Girls split? I, I can't go back to presenting on cable. I just can't. I do you understand, don't you, Vic? Yes. Of course I do. You've got to put yourself first. That's what I said to her. You've got to be strong in this game. Like a heterosexual man. So, uh, I understand you're into this tantric sex and all that malarkey then. That's right, eh? I can go nine hours without shooting me muck. It's bloody brilliant. What do you make of all this, Stella? I'd have been a successful fashion designer even if my dad wasn't Paul McCartney. All right.